I got a splash, I got that drip, baby, I got that water, ayy. I got that thing, make you go and say, make you go in your water, ayy. Hey pretty ladies, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new, click that subscribe button and welcome to my channel. So going in on her pinky, I'm going to be using the Glitter Purple Haze from Glitter Planet UK. Both hands are the same in this freestyle set. I know, shocking, but <laughs> they are. So I will only include a clip of one hand. So I am just picking up a small bead of clear acrylic and dipping right into the glitter and applying it to the finger. Going ahead, not wasting any time, I'm picking up some clear acrylic and I will be encapsulating this glitter. The reason why we do this is because when we go in with our e-file, we do not want to foul off any of the glitter. Coming in on this finger, I'm going to be using the soft white custom mix that I created just by adding a little bit of clear acrylic into my white acrylic. And I'm going to be creating an extended nail bed in a V-like shape, but I'm going to make sure my point isn't too sharp. Later on, I'm going to put a flame decal up on that that I purchased from Amazon. So you guys, this channel is all about learning. So I will be uploading a video soon of me doing my left hand and then if you really like that video i would do a different version of the same design on my right hand so let me know when or how often you guys want to see uploads from me and i'm gonna have them maybe uploaded around 6 30 or 7 at night time Now coming on to a middle finger, I'm going to do a full nail in the color Letitia by Glam and Glitz. Let me just say that Glam and Glitz is a wet system, meaning that it kind of takes a minute to build up the color, but they are pigmented. As you see, um, that's why I go in with a few beads of this brand, but I am getting better with my bead pickups, which in my next few videos, you will be noticing that when I use bigger brushes, but everything that I mention, I purchase with my own money. So this is not sponsored. I do not get paid for endorsements or anything like that. I'm a stay at home mom that just believe in investing in myself. Using a glitter bell acrylic Parma violets, I'm going at the tip area with this color and I will be building it up to my liking. And then I will go in with Letitia and kind of squiggly marble like strokes, but I will be picking up extra wet beads of the color Letitia so it can just swirl right into the nail and then i will be going in with the glitter from glitter bells as well called fish food and i will just be using some light purple dots up onto that and then i will go in with the color rainbow crush from glitter bells to add a little more sparkle to this nail later on i will be coming over this nail with the color pink opal it is a core powder from glitter bells and i will be using it to create an ombre So on her thumb, we decided to do a true marble nail. So I will be picking up every color that I have used already, which is the white, Letitia, and Parma Violets. And then at the end of that, I will be adding Rainbow Crush, and then I will cap it in clear acrylic later.
So if you don't yet, you might as well go and follow me on Instagram because Instagram got to see that new intro before y'all. Now, wait a minute. Don't get mad at me. It was just easier to post it up on there first so they can know to come and watch my videos. But definitely we'll leave that in the description box. Now coming in with an 8080 grit nail file that I purchased from Amazon. I'm just coming in to straighten up my lines. And then I will add the flames that I was telling you about earlier. And I will also add a few drops of Rainbow Crush onto this nail. And then I will encapsulate the bottom half with clear acrylic. Now you see me coming in with the color Pink Opal from Glitter Bells. Like I stated earlier, I'm just going to create an ombre using this color. It is a perfect pink. So if you're looking for an amazing core powder, definitely get your hands up on this because it is my favorite go-to. Now you're about to see me cap the bottom half of this nail in clear acrylic. I'm not worried about the white because it is a core powder, meaning that it has strength. I'm just encapsulating my flame and my glitter. So when I come in to foul, um, everything does not come off and it stays into place. With the little leftover monomer, I am just brushing that onto the nail. This helps the acrylic just slides down to reduce the look of air bubbles. And I'm just going to cap this nail and cap the thumb as well. And then we will move on to the e felling process. So you guys, let me know if you want to see me use certain colors. I'm really trying to step out of my comfort zone and try new things with 3D flowers and um, crystal placements. I'm just trying to learn even more. I don't want to stay in the same place that I am at. Each video, I think everything is getting better. So we can only go up after i filed and reshaped her nails i'm just going in with a few little gems you guys i'm not i'm not good in the crystal placement area this is something that i said that i will definitely be working on that in 3d flowers so a lot of my videos will be focusing on me trying to perfect these types of things because it is something that I want to work on. And why not show you so you can see the real life struggle behind the scenes and that people don't like to put on camera. And if I fail, I fail. If I succeed, I succeed. But as long as I'm trying, I can't say that I can't do anything if I didn't try. Did leave in me top coating though. Give me a thumbs up for that. So I did leave that part in and then I will apply cuticle oil and then I would just take my pictures. So that is it for the purple freestyle set. My little sister was very happy with this because purple was a color that I didn't have for a long time. But it took me out of my comfort zone, but I'm very happy with it. So I will link the pictures down below. Thank you guys. Like and subscribe.